Hi, this is Mimi from Mimi's Paper Crafting. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am hopping on the zine bandwagon. I've been seeing it a lot out there lately, and I mean, it's been out there a lot. Have you guys seen it? It's been out there. A lot of people have been making zines, um, but they're making them out of just a single piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. And I thought, why not make it out of a file folder? I have a lot of file folders, a lot. Um, so I'm trying to always find ways to use them. And I thought I would make two today. Well, I'm gonna make the bases of two and decorate one, but I'm gonna use the legal size, which I get from the Dollar Tree. And this is big, ish big. Where's my ruler? It's like, I can't even, what is going on? Can I hold my ruler right? It's what, 15 inches? Fourteen and three quarters, something like that. I don't know. It's big. It's big. And then seventeen inches. So that's big. Bigger than a normal piece of paper. So I thought, let's make out of these. What I want to do first though, if I can find my paper trimmer, is cut off all of the stuff that I don't need. I'm not making like a journal journal, so we're gonna cut off this that I'm not gonna use. That way we have, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna have to pull out my guillotine for this one. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Oh, that won't even fit either. I'll wait till I fold it in half and then I'll do it. Okay? So to make a zine, it's so freaking easy. It literally is. You just take a piece of paper this one's already folded in half on the first side for us, so we're good that way. And then we're just going to pull it up to the top and line it up this way. Now, you must have it like even, like even. It has to be even. I'm looking for my, here we go. We also want our lines to be crisp, and this is thick because it's file folder. This one's not as thick. It's actually Dollar Tree, but this is like good file folder. And then you're just going to take it and you're going to pull one to the side in. Let me get that. Okay. So we're just going to pull this in and line this up at the crease and try our hardest, cause it's thick. It's a thick boy, and look, that crumbled in right there. So let's take my bone folder and see if we can get that edge out here. Maybe not, okay. Try not to get that crumbled again, huh? There we go. It's, you're gonna need to do some work. I hope you've done your lifting of your weights this week so your arms can handle it, cause this is ridiculous. Okay, hoi, I'm tired now. And then same with this side. Just bring it in to meet. So thick. I have to pick it up. Sorry. Sorry, I gotta pick it up. Cause it's thick. It's a thick boy. Okay. So there we go. All right. Hui. So now we have all these folds. That one did not fold, and it crumbled big time. 
Okay. So now we have all these folds. All right, so that's what it looks like. Now, do you see what I did there? This is how I had it folded. I unfolded it and folded it this way, and I'm just going to take my scissor, okay, and cut this line here. To this folded edge. So now we have okay. and then fold it in half and there we go. Okay and what I'm gonna do is go through. Did I cut that all the way through? No I did not. Look at that. I missed. See? I did not go all the way through. For some reason, I stopped short. <laughs> Why? I don't know. That's better. Okay. And there we go. Oh, yeah, that was a, I'm not going to lie, that was a pain. But there we go. Then you have this, this, this and this. So you have everything done. I'm just going to go through and tighten up these fold lines. Okay. Just so we're creased a little bit better for opening and closing the book. It does not get glued. It just stays open. Look at that. You can see that I folded it off. I was so careful. I really was. But you know what we can do? We can just trim that. Don't tell. It was just right there it looks. Like, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, and now we're just going to crease this one well. I'm telling you, if you were using just a regular piece of paper, it would be fine, but this stuff, because it's thick, you really gotta crease it. Okay, so then when you open it up and flip through, all right? Now, that's a pretty decent size. Let's try this one. So this one is huge. So we're going to move this to the top and do a better job, but this one's not as thick. It's, it's Dollar Tree, it's not that thick. So hopefully we're gonna get it and then I can trim off the edges. So I wonder I wonder what it would be like if we kept No, we're not keeping them on. No. We're going to be good and we're going to cut them off. But I just wonder. No. Cutting them off. Cutting them off. We are cutting them off, okay? Don't, don't let me distract myself. We're cutting them off. Um... I gotta make sure they're the same size though. See, it would have been different if I could have cut it. I could. What am I doing? I can cut it. We can cut them the same size. We just do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look at that. Okay, there we go. Duh. I've never done this before with file folders, so. I hope you don't hear my kid. I thought he was supposed to be leaving, but I don't know. he got up this morning, showered, but he hasn't left. Okay, so that's as even as I think I can get it. Now, I'm gonna take this side again, 
fold it over. Okay. And again. Okay. And do the same over here. And I also literally just use the natural scored line for the file folder. I didn't like do anything fancy. Just using the natural fold. Okay. Sorry if that's very loud, but I have to be rough. All right. So there we go. And we're going to once again fold it in half. And we're going to cut this. And this time we're going to make sure we go exactly to the end. Okay. So now we have fold it in half. And ready? The magic. Take these two ends and squeeze them together. Okay. So there we go. There's another one. Easy peasy. And once again, I am going to score these really nice so they lay flat as they can. Okay. Sorry, that's very loud. That's very loud. Okay. And put that one to the back. Good and scored. Oi. Okay, so then. Oh, I flipped it to the wrong way. How come you guys didn't tell me? That's alright. Okay, there we go. So flip, 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 flip. So now look at the size difference just from using a different piece of paper. You know what? Let me pull out the eight and a half by 11. So I, if you've never seen a zine before, you can see what size it would be. Give me a second to grab a piece. Okay. This is just eight and a half by 11 cardstock. That's it. So we're gonna get started. I'm just gonna fold it in half. Let's make sure we get it straight, shall we? I mean, we all know, if you've watched me long enough, you know I don't do nothing straight. So, there we go. I mean, that's as good as I think I'm gonna get. Then we're gonna open it up and we're gonna fold this way. Just like we did with the file folders, but this fold was already done for us, right? Because it's a file folder. So next, we are going to match this up as best as we can. I mean, we all know. Quiet. And then fold to the center. Fold to the center. Okay. Okay. So now we have all our folds, and what are we going to do again? Fold it this way and cut in. I've seen people do this in other ways, but I just feel like it's easiest just to cut. So now we have the two doop doop doops. Gonna 
fold it in half and boom squeeze and there we go we have a small one and I've come to the conclusion it doesn't matter how careful I am it's just not going to it's just always going to be a slightly crooked maybe it's just me Last, but certainly not least. Okay, so this is the one that I see everybody making with a simple eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. This is the regular file folder. And then the legal file folder. Look at the difference in size. So what do you do with it now? Well, now you decorate it. I mean, honestly, what you could have done first before you did any of the folds was create like a master board on here, which would have been great. You just do the master board and then you fold and score everything and then all your pages would have already been collaged. I mean, that would have been great. But I am going to take um, I think the longest one because I find this one interesting. So let's decorate this one. Let me pause because you know what I didn't do? Grab supplies because I'm a dumb dumb. I didn't grab supplies. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I took a break, like 10 minute break to text somebody and find some stuff. So here we go. This is the zine that we're going to use and it's from the legal size file folder. And then I pulled out, um, first of all, my walnut stain and my anchor. And then I pulled out this replica 1897 Sears and Roebuck catalog. Um, I believe it's linked down in my Amazon storefront. It's very well priced and yeah, it's just a replica of a Sears catalog. So I'm gonna pull out some pages. I'm just tearing them out. I don't, don't care. They don't have to be perfect. I just want um, some of this style paper. I'm just going to grab a few from different sections. Was there really a book called The Book of the Lantern? Interesting. See that? Book of the Lantern. So I don't know how many pages I will need. I'm just gonna grab four. I can always come back for more. Okay? I know I have eight pages, but I could always come back for more. I think I might be able to use one for one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I could use, yeah, see that? That's plenty. So I'm just gonna take my ruler if I can find it. Do I keep putting it away? Yes, and it keeps falling at a dumb spot. So first of all, I'm going to lay this down. And we're going to tear off the bottom part. Because I don't feel like getting out my trimmer. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then just, I'm leaving a little bit of a gap because it's habit. Okay. So that's one page be either I, I don't care what side it is you know what I mean I'll probably do um, let me trim this though look at how bad that is I tried my hardest it's not exactly 
easy to do this thicker paper um, file folder. But that's okay, we're just gonna trim it down. There we go. Pretend it never happened. So that way I can just glue everything down. And look how bad, look at that. Ay ay ay. Won't matter. We're covering it. We're covering it. So we have this one, and then we have to trim the other side. We have to trim off all of this, which, what? We'll just see how this is right here. Okay, good. So let's glue this on. I'm going to ink it after it's glued on because it's such thin paper. It's very, very thin paper. It's much easier to hold on to. Okay. And then this one, I'm just gonna do this side. here glue that on doesn't have to be perfect I'm honestly just showing you what to do this would never be like I, I, I if I was going to make one I would then add signatures and make it into a journal journal and not just have I know people love them I am more of the let's make this into a journal. That's how I am. This will definitely stay in here. It'll be something I pull out and I look at, but I don't do perfect. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do perfect. Why can't I do perfect? Because it's every homemade things are never going to be perfect. There is human error. Look, you saw me try very hard to make sure that was completely straight. It's still human error. Or it couldn't it might not have been straight in the first place, that fold. Which would be machine error, but still, human error. Nothing is ever going to be perfect when it's handmade. It's impossible. Cause no matter how much you try to make things perfect. Um, it's just not going to be. So once again, I'm just going to use the opposite side so they're not matching. That's what I've been doing. Oh, my ankle hurts so bad today. And I keep sitting really stupid. I keep sitting with my ankle bent. And it hurts so bad. Um, I don't know if... I've mentioned it, but I do have ankle problems. I've no, don't fall. Oh, good, it fell where I could grab it. I do have ankle problems. I um have something called tarsal tunnel, which is basically carpal tunnel, but in your ankle. I've had it. I got diagnosed in 2015, and. The doctor at the time wanted me to get surgery, but I couldn't afford it. I had like super crappy insurance and I couldn't afford it. So I never got surgery. But also that's what he went straight for was surgery. And he refused to try anything else besides a walking boot, which helped like when it was really bad. And then, but then I, it broke. I used it so much even after I stopped seeing that doctor when it would be really bad. I'd put the boot on for a few days. Um, but my boot broke. Anyway. Where's the, here it is. Um, I have not been back. 
to a foot and ankle doctor because not many take my insurance, my new insurance. And the one who does is the same doctor. And I did not like that doctor. I'm using the same side of this because I really wanted the stationary. I mean, come on. The book and stationary department. Um, yeah, so. Anyway, I never went back. I haven't been back to an ankle doctor since because, like I said, nobody really takes my insurance. My insurance is better now, but nobody takes it. So, that's fun. Um, and I went to a doctor not that long ago. It was not my regular doctor. I went in for an emergency appointment because my hips were hurting so bad. And I couldn't get in to see my regular doctor for a while. So since it was a new problem, my, they got me in to see another doctor just so I could see what the problem was. If there was like something, you know, something that could be done. This was like 2021. So, you know, we were still in COVID times and things were still bad when it came to coming to a doctor. So anyway. I saw this other doctor and it's a very well respected and well loved doctor in my area. People switch to him all the time. People love him. And um, when he asked about my ankle and I told him what he had, he point blank said to me, do not get the surgery. And I asked him why. Now I've done a lot of research on, do I want to do? Oh, let's do that, shall we? Um, I've done a lot of research on tarsal tunnel. And from my research, I have found, which is another reason I didn't want the surgery, is that it is a very low percentage of people who the surgery actually works for. And then not only that, there we go. Not only that, but even if the surgery does work, it's a very, very low chance that the surgery lasts forever. It will come back. So he said to me, do not get the surgery. And I said, why? Because I mean, I knew I've, I've, I've done a lot of research, honestly, a lot of research when I got diagnosed and he said to me, the surgery doesn't work. He said, I know, I've known a bunch of people who've gotten the surgery and the surgery doesn't work. And I said, oh, thank you, a doctor who actually is like, yeah, don't. Okay, I'm just inking this because I want it to be a little bit more vintage. The only, like, the replica Sears and Roebuck, Roebuck, oh my God, Roebuck. Jeez Louise. Um, catalog is not distressed. You have to distress it yourself. But there we go. Also, fun fact, my grandmother retired from Sears. So, he said to me, do not get the surgery. And when I said why, he said, because it doesn't, it does not work. And then he said to me, and if it does work, it does not work for long. He said, I know so many people who've had the surgery. And he said, and it's never worked. And I said, thank you. I said, thank you. Because that's the research I've done. And that's the research I've found. And every time somebody says to me, why haven't you gotten the surgery? I have to explain that from my research, it never stays. So what I'm going to tell you is what it is, is it's like carpal tunnel. Okay but it's in your ankle. So under the inside, inside ankle, I have a pinched nerve that is pinched. I'm guessing that's what it is. Like it's basically like a, what, a pinched nerve. So you have to do release surgery. So it's like a pinched nerve on the inside of my right ankle. And I'm going on eight years. When I first got diagnosed, I went to the doctor and I'm going to tell you why I went to the doctor. It hurt. I got, I hurt myself in 2014. I sprained my ankle 
in 2014. And um, I rested it. I was like deep into working out. I had lost a good amount of weight, which by the way, I gained all back because my ankle hurt, couldn't work out. Anyway, um, so I hurt myself working out in 2014. I was still married at the time and it was summer. And my husband at the time, we had been going on hikes and walks and he was pissed. I hurt myself. So, um, we continued, I continued to go hiking with him, even though I had really hurt myself because he was pissed. And instead of being like, oh, you hurt yourself, all he cared about was that he wanted to go hiking and he couldn't believe that I was going to not go with him anymore. So I sucked it up and I went, which I think is my downfall. Um... Then I got a job outside of the home for the first time in a good long, I worked um, online, but I got a job outside of the home working at Kmart, which by the way, that's where me and the boyfriend met. Eh, funny enough, we were just friends. Don't worry about it. We just met, we were friends and then I got divorced and he stepped up and watched my kid for me when my ex flaked and that showed me what a good person is and we've started dating and we've been together since but we started off as friends anyway i was working at kmart overnights it was one of the only kmarts left in the country that had overnights and i think there was only two and that was one of them in my local town and i was working overnights and i never gave myself a break with my ankle and then in 2015 so I worked that whole time. And then in 2015, I was working the one night. It was a Wednesday. So it was just me and my boss on Wednesdays. It was just me and my boss and I was pulling freight. So I was pulling, um, Jack with a pallet on and freight and the pain was so bad. I cried the entire night, the entire night I cried. That's how bad the pain was. I was just walking through Kmart crying because the pain was so intense and I went to the doctor finally and then they said you have tarsal tunnel and he tried a soft cast which did absolutely nothing but fall down my leg tried the walking boot and some cream that was specially made and nothing helped and now here I am eight years later I still have the pain and I gained so much weight back from not being able to work out because the pain is just so intense and now I just I just fight it the pain it's so bad there are days that it's so bad but i just fight the pain hold on my kid um that was my child folks but yeah the pain is just so intense it's bad but i push through to work out because now i am pre-diabetic and i had to cut carbs and cut sugar and i have to work out so i have to push through that pain okay <laughs> Anyway, I'm sitting here stupid with my freaking foot bent and my ankle is killing me. That was the point of the story. Jeez Louise. So we have all of these Tim Holtz people. I'm going to pull a chunk out so I can close this up and then just be done. This is a bunch of Tim Holtz since we're going vintage. And so is this. And oh, so this is how I store my ephemera. It's in a three ring binder. This is a three inch D ring binder. And these are photo storage. So these are four by six. And then these here are um, uh, baseball card. Could not think. So I'm just pulling out some Tim Holtz stuff and then I'll put it back in when the video is over. And then these are the baseball card ones that hold the smaller ones. So that's how I store my ephemera. This is my everyday, and then I have a holiday. There you go. This is also now how I hold my, I store my stamps. If you want to see my stamp storage, you let me know. Okay. My kid's just making fart noises because he thinks he's funny. I'm telling you. Okay, so let's find somebody to go on the front. Ooh, what do you think? She look good? 
Okay, and then we're going to find something to layer so we can see her a little bit better. What do you think? So this, this, and then what about some color? Okay, and that. What do we think? And then I have, these are word stickers, phrase stickers. So let's get that on. Um, and distress. So yes, that's the long ass story about why my ankle hurts. I'm telling you. But yeah, that doctor basically told me not to get the surgery, which I find hilarious because like I said, I also thought I shouldn't get the surgery. So at least somebody was like, yeah. I think this is from a 49 and market page. This is not Tim Holtz, but it was for some reason shoved in my Tim Holtz, but it'll work. Okay, and then this one, I don't think it needed that, but there we go. And then I've been working out, and I've been working out a lot, and we've been going for hikes. My boyfriend and I have been going for hikes on the trails, and then my ankle is shot when I get back. Like, it hurts so bad. And then I hate myself. So he's on vacation this week. I'm like, I'm going to have to be like, we can go twice. That's it. Because it ends up hurting so much. Okay, we're going to distress her a little bit. And then we're going to plop her on. Ploop. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ploop and plop her on. And then... When we're done decorating, I will find some words out of the word, out of this, like phrases and stuff that'll go with. Okay, that's a cute little cover. And then since zines are supposed to tell a story, we're gonna continue on with some ladies. Oh, she looks good there. Or should we put her over here with these ladies? We'll put her over here with these ladies. Okay. So we're just gonna make sure there's no white edges, basically. Because sometimes there are. We're gonna put her on and she pops nicely because her dress is all black. So she pops nicely on this page and then we need to find some other stuff to go on the page. And also I've been using my infinity hoop I've been doing 25 to 30 minutes of cardio and then um, using my infinity hoop, out doing 20 minutes of my infinity hoop, and that just hurts my ankle so bad. Like, not even a joke. It's painful. Yeah, so zines are supposed to tell a story. I don't care if mine tells a story. I'm here to decorate it and make it look pretty. That's how I feel right now. Um, and mine doesn't have to tell a freaking story. This picture is not Tim Holtz. This is from, I think, a craft consortium paper pad, I think is the brand. There we go. And then he needs some color. We need some color. Some color. I think my kid's finally getting ready to leave. We have a little 
luster here. And then we need something else right there. No, too much. I also don't like this down here, so we'll move it down just a smidge. There we go. I didn't like it up so high. So we have that page. And now the next one. I'm going to use this. I don't know where this came from, but it was shoved in with my Tim Holtz, and it's not Tim Holtz. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. Some of my vintage stuff ends up, it might be Tim Holtz actually, because there's nothing on the back. No, because usually on the back of his stuff, it's white. See? So I don't know where this is from. I'm going to put this here. And then this. Sorry, my dog is barking. He's impatiently waiting for his daddy, Matt, to get here. He was, like, on edge yesterday because the boyfriend didn't show up at all, so he was just on edge all day waiting for him to show up. I just love this girl, and I love the pop of color. Okay. This video is way longer than I wanted it to be. I'm very sorry. But we're just flying through and then we need, should we put a dude? Let's put a guy. Let's put a guy on. Over here. Okay. He's holding flowers and a suitcase. All right, dude, what'd you do? <laughs> you coming home? And then we're gonna plop that down here. Plop, why do I always use that word? It sounds so bizarre when I say it. We're gonna plop it down here. We're not plopping anything anywhere. We are gonna put this foot there. And then we still need some more little color. There's no rhyme or reason to how I'm decorating this. Just FYI. I'm just literally pulling stuff out and throwing it on. Next. And what do we got here? A hair cutting chart. Hair cutting chart. We use this crown diamonds over here. This stuff is plated with pure silver. Pure silver. And it, oh, I don't have any prices. Oh, 60 cents for that. 60 cents. This napkin ring, 75 cents. This one with the bird, 90 cents. I like the one with the bird. Please tell me. Somebody, I need to know if somebody still has that in their family, like it's a family heirloom. I need to know, cause that's kind of cute. Okay, and, oh, this guy, he looks like a grumpy puss. He's totally gonna hang out there. Okay. Hi. Desk is creaking. Oh, let's pop that out. There we go. Get off my finger. So there we go. Look at that. And then over yonder. We're going to put this foot. No, let's find a different one. What do we got here? This one. This one. Sure. And then some color. And... Okay, great. Whatever. 
we're just making a cluster. So, put that there. And then, um, you know what we're gonna do? This guy instead. This also, I believe, is still from the Craft Consortium paper pad. There were two pages of like really cool photo cut aparts in that one. It was a six by six. I got it on QVC. And I don't, it was like maps and ledgers. That's as best as I can tell you. I don't know the name of it. I don't even know if I still have it. I probably do somewhere. What I'm gonna do after I'm done with the next page is I'm going to pause, okay? This is the last page. I'm going to pause and then I'm going to um, put a bunch of word stuff on because it might take me a while. This chick. She'd be crazy, crazy. So, oh, here we go. Nice, so that's what I'm gonna do because it might take me a while to find stickers to put on and then I will do a flip through when I come back. I don't wanna take up too much more of your time. I'm already way longer than I want it to be. Why did I think this would not take me forever I don't know but I just wanted to like honestly I'm so tired of doing crafting for the purpose of a video I kind of just wanted to craft and even though I am recording a video I'm still getting to just craft like everything I've been doing for videos lately has been like mini albums and my journal and things for people that I was commissioned to make so I just really wanted to just craft all right, I'll be back. Okay, here we go. To be cheerful and optimistic. She looks optimistic, let me tell you. She didn't press her luck. Nope. He maintained a careful distance. That's what them flowers mean, I'm telling you. And his heart full of bright hopes. Something good is about to happen. There we go. That's all you do. You decorate, you tell a little story, and you can decorate any way you want. That's it. Now, you could totally use this as a journal. You could put signatures in each little spot, and then when you open it up, this is what it's gonna look like. Ready? There we go. So this is what it looks like and then of course it's blank on the back but there you go that is a zine made from a legal sized file folder that I got at the Dollar Tree and then for comparison here's a regular size file folder it's a little bit wider but shorter and then this is the size that everyone makes out of an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper so look at the difference in the size. You could do so much more than using this. But there you go, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed doing something different and I really enjoyed just sitting down and crafting and chatting. And I need to make more videos where I'm just sitting down crafting and chatting. These are also really good to send in happy mail. Like it's not that thick. You may have to pay some a little bit more for postage, but you could send this in an envelope to somebody to make their day and decorate it to make them happy. Happy? I don't know. <laughs> don't mind me. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Um, let me know down below if you've ever seen, I've never seen anyone make one out of a file folder. I've only ever seen the eight and a half by 11. So let me know down below if you've seen 
bigger sizes than the eight and a half by 11 and who the YouTuber was so I could check it out. Okay. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video where I think I'm also just going to craft for fun. I need to craft for fun more often. You guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.